The latest handheld from Yodaphone is notable for its curves, its Russian origin, and its volume rocker that doubles as a SIM card tray. But of course, its real claim to fame is its two-faced nature. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, here to show you how to make the most of two screens on your Yodaphone 2. So the first thing to understand about the e-paper display, or EPD, on the back of the Yodaphone 2 is that it's an e-ink panel. That means it's grayscale, much lower in resolution and refresh rate than the main display, and it doesn't have a backlight. It also means it's about seven times more power efficient, though, according to the manufacturer. So if you're pinching milliamps and there's no power outlet around, on an airplane, say, it's possible to douse the power-hungry AMOLED screen up front and switch everything to the EPD. To do this, just swipe up from the bottom and select the leftmost option to start Yota Mirror, and then turn the phone over. The device immediately recognizes when it's been flipped and disables touch input on the glass front, and everything moves to the 16-level grayscale of the backside. You navigate the OS the same way you do on the front, but it's a much slower response time, almost like you're running in extreme battery-saving mode, which, in a way, you are. And the mirroring works for everything, even videos though you can barely see what's happening in them. It's not a great way to use Android. This would be my last resort if I were trying to save battery. But it's theoretically quite a power saver, and it's something only Yodaphone can do out of the box. The same mirroring enables reading books, magazines, PDFs, you name it, on the e-paper display, which is easier on the eyes and more visible in bright sunlight than the AMOLED up front. The phone does include a Yota Reader app for some titles, and if you're more mainstream, it's easy to just fire up Amazon's Kindle app and flip on over to mirror mode. It's not as crisp as I'd like, and the lack of a backlight means this is a daytime-only option, but again, it's still preferable to the front screen in extremely bright or outdoor settings. Once more, interaction is exactly the same here as it would be on the standard display, so the only learning curve is adapting for the delay. And if you've ever been frustrated by an airport attendant, a train conductor, or a movie theater usher being unable to scan your barcode on your ticket because of your glossy glass display, the Yodaphone's EPD can help there too. It's got a matte finish that's kinder to lasers. There's also the bonus of the EPD's natural inclination to retain the last image it displayed, even if the phone runs out of power. But don't manually shut it down in a pinch, thinking the back panel will stay where it is. It'll default to the Yodaphone branding useless for anything but cool points. Finally, there's the normal operating modes for the backside, governed by two things called Yoda Cover and Yoda Panel. The latter is a set of oversized, high-contrast home screens and widgets meant to make using the Yoda phone easier via the EPD, kind of like easy mode on a Samsung smartphone. And by replacing swipes with big button targets and persistent arrows, it does smooth things out a little bit on the more stuttery e-ink screen. If you're someone who likes customizing your phone, you'll probably be more interested in Yoda Cover, accessed by pressing the button in the bottom center. That flips you to a custom graphic that can be anything you want. Yoda Phone has a ton of library images available for download, and you can also choose from pictures you've taken, either on the device or by syncing with your Facebook or Instagram libraries. The process can be a little frustrating, it's not the most intuitive software around, but the result is a persistent custom decoration on the back of your device that you can change any time. It's like a virtual custom case or a sticker without the added expense or the mess. This is just a quick touch on some of the EPD's functionality. We'll have more on the Yodaphone 2 as a whole package in our full review coming soon. Till then, drop us a line in the comments letting us know what tips and tricks you've picked up if you own one or what you want to learn more about if you don't. Till next time, be sure to subscribe to Pocket Now here on YouTube so you don't miss more follow up coverage from CES 2015 and brand new device reviews as we push toward the spring. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this quick tour and follow us on social media if you're the tweeting type. Once more, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Captain Two Phones on Twitter, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.